morning to all welcome to your tsn english class students class 12th today we'll start poem number 5 that is aunt jennifer's tigers and before start uh, will i will start that poem i would like to tell you about the fifth poem why i called it a fifth poem because the fifth poem that is the roadside stand uh, that um, will be the deleted poem this year from your syllabus so let's uh, read this one and this one is your sixth but uh, because uh, the one uh, that fifth poem is deleted from your syllabus that is why i have written your poem number 5 so uh, the name of the poem is aunt jennifer's tigers and um, the poetess of this chapter is edrine rich let's read about edrine here so Edrine Rich, nineteen twenty-nine, was born in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, USA, and she is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and theorist. And she has pu uh, published nineteen volumes of poetry, three collections of essays, and other writings. A strong resistance to racism and militarism echoes through her work. The poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers addresses the constraints of married life of a woman experience. So here, uh, uh, with the help of this poem, the poetess tries to explain um, that she has earned. Uh, you can say uh, say that uh, that that poetess that she had earned the uh, popularity for her involvement in contemporary women movement as a poet and a theorist, as it is written over here as her introduction and. Um, Uh, her claim to fame were her feminist ideas and her wide involvement in contemporary women movement as a poet and a theorist so she received a number of awards including 1996 training award for mastery in the art of poetry the lenin foundation 1999 lifetime achievement award and the commonwealth award in literature and national book award at the same time and this uh, poetess has written 19 volumes of poetry three collections of essay and other writing and her work shows a strong uh, you can say that resistance uh, to racism and militarism and the poet and jennifer um, and the poet uh, poet poetess that is um, Edrine, she uh, read, uh, wrote that poem on Jennifer's Tigers to deal with the constraint of married life of a woman experience. So, uh, students, let's move on to the poem here. Let's read from the first stanza of the poem. Aunt Jennifer Tiger, tigers prance across the screen. Bright topaz denizens of a world of green. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. Aunt Jennifer's tie, uh, fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of Uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. When Aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie, still ringed with ordeals. she was mastered by the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and afraid so students here in the first stanza of the poem uh, that aunt jennifer jo hai unke jeevan ko uh, kiske dwara explain kiya gaya with the help of tigers and who are tigers your जो टाइगर्स होते हैं उनकी मदद लेके या उनको एक एग्जाम्पल सेट करके समझाया गया है इस पोएट्री में सो द टाइगर स्केच बाय आंट जेनिफर्स आर रनिंग ऑन अ स्क्रीन सो हियर यू कैन इजीली गो थ्रू इट व्हेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इन द इन दिस पोएम पर्टिकुलरली द लाइफ ऑफ द पोएट इज इज एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर यू कैन से दैट टाइगर्स द्वारा उन्हें एक्सप्लेन किया गया है और स्केच्ड आउट देन ब्राइट टोपेज डेनिज ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ ग्रीन सो हियर सो so jennifer are like running on the screen and they are the topaz denizens of world of green who are the topaz de denizens like uh, jo tigers hain 
उनके द्वारा जो बनाए गए चीते जो हैं वो जब कहाँ दौड़ते हैं स्क्रीन पर सो so, वो उस वक्त क्या होता है दे हैव नो फियर फ्रॉम द मैन सो दे डू नॉट फियर द मैन बिनथ द ट्री सो दे हैव नो फियर फ्रॉम द मैन हु इज सिटिंग और हु इज स्टैंडिंग अंडर द ट्री और सिटिंग अंडर द ट्री द पेस इन स्लीक श्रिवलरिक सर्टेनिटी सो दे कीप रनिंग विथ ब्रेवरी सो वॉट इज योर दैट प्रेंस वर्ड मीन्स टू स्प्रिंग ऑन हिंद लेग लेग्स दैट इज पी हिंद लेग्स आर वॉट पीछे के पैर तो पैज इज लाइक अ मिनरल सो हे आर द पोइट इज ट्राई टू कन्वे द कलर ऑफ दैट टाइगर विद दैट मिनरल यू कैन से दैट दर इज अ जेम स्टोन दैट इज टोपैज उसके कलर से उसको यहाँ डिनोट किया गया है डेनिजन आर वॉट डवेलर्स डवेलर्स मीन्स द नेटिव पीपल यू कैन से दैट सो डेनिजन आर दोज एंड श्रिवलरिक मीन्स ब्रेव और लाइक दोज हु आर करेजियस पीपल सो श्रिवलरिक सर्टेनिटी सो दे कीप रनिंग विद ब्रेवरी हु आर रनिंग विद ब्रेवरी द टाइगर्स and uh, uh, with the help of tigers uh, we are here to um, that poetess is try to convey about the life of the youth aunt jennifer's so aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand aunt jennifer's fingers are fluttering through her wool and she is unable to pull even the ivory needle and the the uncle wedding band is so heavy and big that it has put a lot of weight in her hand so here kya bataya gaya hai that शादी के बाद जो कुछ भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज़ होती है विच वी कॉल देम लाइक आफ्टर मैरिज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो जो है विमेंस बिकॉज हमें यहाँ बताया गया दैट आन ये जो पोइट्स हैं हर नेम इज़ एंड्री इन ड्रिज उन्होंने विमेंस की लाइफ पे ज़्यादा ज़्यादा फोकस किया तो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टाइगर्स एंड ऑल शी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दैट आफ्टर गेटिंग मैरिड वॉट आर द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ विमेन लाइक बिफोर मैरिज दे डोंट हैव दैट मच रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लाइक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एवरी वन इज़ हैविंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ देयर ओन बट आफ्टर मैरिज Uh, they have the responsibility of two families like their own and their uh, paternal and maternal you can say that and for that unhe itna zyada busy rakh deti hain ye responsibility ki unke paas sui tak chalane ka so here it is written over that find even the ivory needle hard to pull to unke paas sui tak chalane ka samay nahi hota hai so let's uh, read um, when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie she still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by the tigers and the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and afraid so here prince are what uh, the uh, to spring on like hind legs so uh, in the last tense the poet is try to explain that when aunt will leave this world her fluttering hands will uh, be quite ringed with the ordeals uh, she has overcome or the tiger that she has made uh, in the panel will keep on running without any fear or any you can say that any and with proud so uh, she said that ki after um, death like unki mrityu ke baad bhi दैट जब वेमेंस जो है वो मर जाती हैं तो आफ्टर दैट मृत्यु के बाद भी उनके ऊपर जो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज़ होती हैं सो द वेमेंस आर लाइक टाइड विद दोज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज बट स्टिल जो उनके द्वारा बनाए गए जो ये टाइगर्स हैं दे आर लाइक फ्री टू वॉक सो दिस चैप्टर योर स्टूडेंट्स इज बेसिकली अबाउट the life of the women how their life is based and all these things and here panel word means the screen or like that and uh, so i would like to tell you about that this poem is basically about the women as we have uh, already read about that poetess that her work shows a strong resistance to racism militarism and that uh, women experience the constraint of married life of a women experience that how after marriage the life of a women has completely changed and what kind of responsibilities of a, a women are like holding and after that the response after death those responsibilities will not end and uh, they have to uh, 
do a lot more work to uh, you can say that to complete those responsibility so students this is the last poem of your uh, syllabus and um, uh, ye abhi tak ke aapke last पोएम फिनिश हो चुकी है आपके कोर्स की अब कोई पोएम नहीं है ऑल द फाइव ऑल द फाइव पोएम्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लाइक डिस्कस्ड इन आर वीडियोस एंड आई विल सेंड यू सून द पी डी एफ्स ऑफ दोज दिस पोएम एंड दैट वन इससे पहले वाली जो पोएम थी आई विल सेंड यू दोज पी डी एफ्स ओके सो द नेक्स्ट टू पोएम्स लाइक आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दोज पोएम्स यू हैव लाइक फाइव पोएम्स इन योर सिलेबस so what uh, where which poems are those like my mother at 66 an elementary school uh, classroom in a slum keeping quiet a thing of beauty and aunt jennifer's tigers the road side stand uh, is like the deleted uh, portion from your syllabus so you have like five poems and we have done with all those five poems thank you all till then stay safe